Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to um, effectively actually play Neo Warfare. Um, many people don't know how to play apparently. Uh, I've seen many people just going on ATC and being, how do I play? Um, which is pretty common. I don't got anything against those people. It's just that it kind of ruins the game. So here's a guide on how to play. So you're gonna select the server uh, how you want and, and click join like I just did. You can see how much time there is and how many people there are. Uh, you can also join friends. And then you, uh, it will pull up this screen, it will load. For me it loaded pretty fast, but for you it might not. Um, so normally what people click is ATC. But that is just air traffic, like uh, for air traffic command. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. Uh, just click free flight. Um, normally, it will give you a tutorial, but right, this is a tutorial basically. So um, for the tutorial, we're going to use a civilian plane. Um, we're just going to scroll down here and pick the 172. Um, this is a just gonna be a tutorial on how to fly, but a uh, customized tutorial will be uh, done um, probably tomorrow. All right. Um, you click on civilian, right? Like I did, um, I select my plane and then I click deployment right here. And you can choose between civilian, airbase, or carrier. Carriers are just too, they're pretty old, um, so I wouldn't recommend going on these. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, but right here, like these models are not bad, it's just they're old. Um, air bases, um, we won't take off from an air base, but yeah, you can choose air bases or you can do civilian, which is what we're gonna do. The most widely used airport is in, uh, Val International Airport, and you just scroll all the way down, and then you should see it right here. Click it, and then that will send you to where it is. You can zoom out, um, and you can see you can see it. Um, if you want to, uh, what, for how to deploy, um, you click set spawn, and then your cursor will have this little red square. Then you can put it wherever you want. Uh, all right, you want it right there? Then just click, and that's where you will spawn. You can also click these, and they will set your spawn right there. But if you want a specific place, um, I'd recommend just putting it right there. After you do that, um, you can go right here and deploy. Currently, it's night, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, people ask me how to do night vision, so you just press tab and toggle night vision and boom and if you want dark mode for you for your ui just click tab again and click toggle gui colors and boom there you go all right now if you want to start up your engine you just press e and your engine should start if you want to um, increase your throttle uh, you use w if you want to decrease it um, it's s um, these are pretty useful. This is your altitude, this is how much throttle, and this is your speed. The speed is measured in knots. Here you have um, your, uh, if you want to maintain, maintain a certain speed, say 100 miles or 200 miles, just click enter and it will put you at that speed. Um, if you hold W, that will increase your throttle throttle and if you want to decrease it just press s or hold s normally planes have gears so just press g and then it should pull up your gear all right now that you've taken off um uh, there's a variety of controls to take off you can either click right uh click with your mouse and then point where you want to go keep uh like hold click on mouse and point where you want to go or you can use a layout, the view, 
J, H, K, like the W, A, S, D keys. You can also press uh, tree and that will put you in this view. Then you don't need to click to uh, move. You just need to move your mouse and boom, you're moving. Um, they also recently added um, a joystick mode, which you just press backspace and then uh, your pointer or controls like a mouse uh, joystick. I personally don't like that. Um, it's, it's a cool concept though. If you want to stabilize your plane, you just hold the uh, equal key. And that should stabilize your plane. If you want to put lights, say you don't have um, night vision on and it's really dark, you just press minus and that should Turn on your lights like that. I just turned them on. All right. After you take off and and you want to land, um, that's gonna be pretty easy. What you gotta do is turn around, go to the place you want to land, obviously, and then my most recommended speed to land is normally 200 or 100, depending on your aircraft. So you just want to line it up real nice, like so, and you just want to keep decreasing your throttle like I'm doing with S, and once it goes under that red line right there, that's um, uh, it you will stall, like that's your um, takeoff percentage, that's how much percentage of throttle you need to have to take off. And once it goes under this one, um, that's your stall speed. So you're just gonna stall. Once you touch down, you just wanna press uh, shift and that will do your brakes. Um, and then eventually you will just land and stop. Normally you can refuel and rearm if you are an armed jet with uh by turning off your engine and going to your original spawn spot or just an airport once the engine completely shuts down there will probably be uh yeah this the rearm repair and refuel that repairs your plane uh refuels it and if you have any type of um weapons um they get rearmed so you just click that and then you need to wait for um uh, for it to uh no service and after you service um you will receive fuel health and your weapons back and it's just gonna service right here and boom my fuel is now uh to a hundred percent now um i'm going to teach you guys how to do weapons so for weapons you just want to go into a a uh, plane with actual fighters, or not fighters, but with weapons is what I meant. Um, you, you can just click pretty much any like attack, bomber, fighter, there are many ones. So I'm just gonna do fighter, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the United States. And um, how about F4? Yeah, F4, boom. These little orange, not or, um, well, orange slash yellow squares are where you can put your weapons. So you can put um, aim aim sevens right here. Um, these are for like um, multiple ejector racks, such for bombs or missiles. You can put another aim seven right there. You can put fuselage pylons, aim nine pylons. Uh, these are just for the F four, but you can multiple put multiple things on different aircraft. You can put some outer drafting mounts or just outer pylons. You can put a gun pod, another gun pod if you want to go crazy, and you can put another gun pod. And yeah, and that's how you put weapons.
and these. And after you uh, you put all your weapons, and you don't want to go through this process again of selecting all your weapons, and you just want to get ready with a loadout, you just click right here. Save loadout, and then you can put any name you want. Uh, I'll just put it right here. Boom. There we go. Uh, that's for weapons. And, yeah. Now for combat. If um, you want to engage somebody or attack them, first, obviously, you got to take off. After you took off, you um, you can press zero to enable um, your combat. Also, some other things um, for afterburner is a semicolon, which is the two little dots on top of each other, and that will enable your afterburner, which makes you go faster. We also have right here um, the chat where you can just say random stuff. Um, you can also see um, where you're heading. North, northwest, northeast, and um, that's the number for where you're heading. So as I move my camera, you can see. Alright, I'm just going to stabilize my plane. And after you turn on combat mode, you can do a few different things. First off, if you have guns, you can press V, and that should shoot your guns. Pretty loud. Now, right here is your um, weapons. If you want to disable a weapon, you press right here. X, um, for missiles, it will be X, and for bombs, it will be B. You just press right here, and then they are disabled. I'm going to launch my... If I want to launch, launch my Sidewinders, I press the X right next to the Sparrow. Alright, now we come right here and press X, and that should launch my missile. Yep, there it goes, pretty fast. Yeah, <laughs> kinda... Yeah. Kinda broken. Alright, uh, now I'm gonna launch my AIM 7s. Launch all of them, and yeah, I that is not supposed to happen. Um, normally, um, they'll just fly off into the distance forever. Um, you just press four to follow them, but apparently, this happened, and that was not supposed to happen. Um, so, if you wanna attack somebody. Say, if I still had my missile, I would just go up to, like, a that guy right there. See right here? That's the person. If they have an X over their head, that means they have combat mode enabled, which means you can kill them if you have combat mode enabled. People can't kill you if, they, if you don't have combat mode enabled. If you want to target them with your missile, just press Control, and that should make them red. Once that happens, you just want to press X, and then the missile will fly off and hit them. But since I wasted all my missiles, yeah, I kind of can't do that. I can rush over there with my afterburner. And hopefully end that guy's life. But I don't think I'll be able to do that, because... Apparently, he is a Star Destroyer, and he's looking at me. Oh no, that does not sound good. Turn, turn, he's gonna target me. Uh-oh, that does not sound good. Alright, I better try to gun him down. Yeah, you can kind of try to do that. But that doesn't really work, does it? Oh! Whoa, how did that happen? <laughs> oh, well, he just died. That's cool. Also, some other things to point out in weapons is um, these little uh, colors on the side actually matter. 
if it's gray, it's normally going to be a, a type of ejector rack that has multiple bombs. If it's orange, then it's going to be a bomb. If it's um, yellow, then it's going to be a missile. And if you go right here, if it's blue, it's a drop tank with extra, extra fuel. Uh, these drop tanks actually matter, but what, uh, let me show you right here. As you can see, our fuel is blue instead of the normal orange, which means that our uh, fuel tank has fuel in it. When our fuel is no longer blue, that means our fuel tank is um, dry. I'm just going to take off quickly right here with Afterburner to see, uh, to show you guys that, um, after, first of all, Afterburner wastes a lot of fuel, and that when, uh, when it's not blue, that means that the tank is dry. So I was just going to use Afterburner a little bit. Alright, as you can see right here, it's now orange. That means I can drop my fuel tank. I just go right here, disable my missiles, and press V. Although you don't really need to, you know, yeah, disable your missiles to launch the bomb. To um, eject the drop tank, you actually need to have combat mode on because this technically counts as a bomb. It's a projectile, so it will count as a bomb. Boom. Press B. Off it goes. Bye-bye. You can see it falling. I don't know. I need these off cameras. <laughs> Alright, that's just gonna fall, and it's going to explode. Yeah, that's why it counts as a bomb. Now, for bombs. For bombs, it's pretty easy. Um, you can press 6, and that will show you your bomb site. This is where the bombs will fall. I'm just going to enable combat mode here for ease of use. Afterburner, let's take off. We can come right here, take off, pull in your gear with G. I have combat mode enabled, and that is where our bombs will fall. If I just press V, you can see all the bombs are falling. And I dropped my tank again. That's why you should disable the kids. Yep, there it is. That's pretty much it for bombs. Well, guys, um, oh, oh, oh no. Um,. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if subscribe if well, like if you like. Subscribe if you want to, and um, yeah. See ya. Also, if you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right. See ya.